Hello, friends of the farm. Wow. So, our framers have been busy. Um, this all was accomplished Thursday and uh, half of Friday. So we have our, oh, I don't know, I'd say maybe more than three quarters of the exterior of the first floor is done. Our trusses arrived. And yeah, so this is seeing the house from the side, um, which will actually be our primary entrance. I'm gonna go try to go slowly. There's our windy driveway. And the side porch area. There's the door for the side porch and a window. And there's the garage. We did elect to do an eight foot tall garage door, 18 feet wide, just in case uh, our truck, next truck ends up bigger or taller or I don't know, just seemed like if you don't do it now, it really creates an issue later. So we went for it. So here's the, here's the side porch. That's a nice, it takes that whole area. I can just see how primitively staged we'll be able to do that. The split face, split face block where it will be exposed. So we'll go in the side, side porch door. And now we are standing in the kitchen. So on this side, there's the door from the garage into the kitchen area. And here's the Here's the side door. That'll be a half light. Uh, the top of it will have glass. But there's the three windows that will be over my our kitchen sink area. And then somewhere here, I'm not sure exactly where, um, that window is for a half bath. And then next to that half bath is or coming out from there is where the washer and dryer will be on one side and a closet on the other side. And then somewhere around here um, is where the wall of cabinets will come out and our range, our stove and the refrigerator will be from here. So that will be looking, so if I'm standing by the front of the stove right now I'm looking forward into the family room area this corner area well there's not a corner yet clearly but we'll have wraparound shelves there and no upper cabinets that will all be lower level cabinets the dishwasher will be there but no no uppers and on this side of the room, I think it's actually past, yes, it's past this wall, somewhere right here, there will be the entrance for a pantry. And that pantry is about five feet wide and ten and a half feet deep. So we'll come this way, and at the end of that the pantry, there's a wall, and now we are standing in the master bathroom. That window is in the master bathroom. And this is the master bedroom right here. Hopefully, 
Yeah, it should. We'll see. Furniture placement is going to be interesting in our our furniture for our bedroom is quite large, so we'll have to see how that works. So again, that way over there is the great room. And the, I have a real thing about things being symmetrical in our former home. I loved the house, but the front door was not properly lined up with the windows above. It was off by about six inches. And when we had the house, new windows and new siding, Jim moved the front door over. We bought a new door and we re reframed it and moved it so that it was in fact now um, lined up. It just always... He'd look at the house and something was just off and that was it. The door was not properly lined up. So I'm going to stand as if we have come in. Okay, here's the, here's the front step. That will be a stone. Looking out, there's the flower stand. And the flower parking area. There's the flower garden. This view has the most incredible sunsets. They are magical. And again, there's the master. And then here are the stairs to the basement. I'm not quite sure why that front area is open, but they must know what they're doing. From this side, right here, inside the house, is the stairs to go down to the basement and those dog leg, they'll go down and then they will turn to the front. And let's go this way again. From the front door, the stairs here will go up. They'll go up halfway, there'll be a landing and then they will turn and go up the rest of the way. The second floor is only over this front section. I guess that's considered a story and a half. In a cape, it is a 12-12 pitch. And eight foot ceilings. I did not want to go higher than that. I know traditionally now um, the newer home builds, the ceilings are higher than eight feet, but in the old capes, they would have been seven feet. So going with eight was Close to historic, but still with an eye towards current living standards. So there is the stairs. That is a wall going outside. That that is not a wall yet. I'm trying to think. That wall. Yes, there is not a window there. The pantry is on. The front part, someone is, I think I'm being paged. And there's our garage. And there's somebody coming out of the basement. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well that's my tour for today. If you uh, came to the sale, Christmas open house at Seville Antiques, I am so happy to have met so many of you. It was a fabulous day, very crowded in a good way, and I am just thrilled to have met um, as many of you as I was able to. I, yeah, I just, this has been, so much fun sharing the process here in building our forever home and then also um, our love for the the antiques and primitives and and how many of you also love that look and that feel we mentioned to somebody today that shared that same feeling 
that being a collector of these antique pieces and living with them, it is more than a hobby. It really is a way of life for many of us. I know for a fact it is for me. It's just a connection to those who went before us, to those who worked hard, worked with their hands, built things, and passed them on. And I've said many times it's it's such a blessing to be able to build our forever home that long after well long after Jim and I are no longer here that there will be something well there'll be something interesting on this piece of property that is here because we made it so so yeah, I hope that if you have a dream for something, that you go for it, that you push, you fight, and you work hard to accomplish it. Because you know what, nothing, nothing worthwhile, truly worthwhile, isn't worth working hard for. It's all worth it. So I'm going to wrap this up because my husband and I are headed over to take care of some some other things that we have to do because people are counting on us. And like I said, nothing worthwhile isn't uh, isn't worth it isn't worth the fight isn't worth the hard work isn't worth the extra effort so if you have not yet come to Seville Antiques you've seen our videos and you want to oh my word it was a fabulous day today and after walking through the shop oh <laughs> We've brought in so much. There is so much there. It's just, it's an amazing place. Um, you will not be disappointed. It is worth a road trip. Heck, it's worth an airplane flight. So you guys, everybody take care. Have a wonderful night. Work hard. Go after your dreams. Take care, everybody.